I just want to talk about cash flow. It says here, the ultimate answer is the power to purchase. Let's just say, being able to buy real estate easily by building new smart housing. That is what we are talking about here at freedomprojects.org forward slash cash flow dot html it says here creating a cash flow to buy real estate if you take hundred dollars per month cash flow to a realtor a bank or a lender they won't be able to sell you or they won't be able to sell you much or give you a loan for anything because nothing exists for sale I mean for hundred dollars a month but if 10 or 20 people spend $100 a month together or more, or 100 people spend $100 a month together, they can buy large pieces of real estate and then split it up to use it, rent some of it, get portions for free, sell portions of it, make money like a developer makes money, and it doesn't matter who you are. You could be a kid. You don't need a license to buy real estate. So, a group of 10 people spending $100 per month can buy $200,000 worth of real estate. $100 a month is pretty easy for most people to make if they have a job. <clears throat> Now I'm going to say that with smart planning that jobs can be built in to a community and that the way that I plan on building real estate is that I was planning on providing more shop space, more garage space than normal because of the need for creative people to have a place where they can work. Because if creative people can't work, then they can't hire employees to work either. So, with Freedom Projects, I'm designing real estate for the creative person first because I need to build a very giant project. I want to perhaps build a hundred million dollar project on 50 acres in Arizona and it might even be more than a hundred million when it's done um, <clears throat> so anyway in the cash flow page it says that 20 people can buy four hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff for only a hundred dollars a month so what I'm doing here with the first project in Salado, Arizona is I'm going to try and build like 50 units. That's five 10 bedroom homes perhaps um, that will share one large barn. So it's like the community barn. As a sample of a larger development that we'll do on the same property with 100 bedroom mansions. So if we took five homes and we designed each one different architecture, that is the concept that I'm trying to do is, is represent different types of architecture in a very artful way so that people, when they're driving down the highway, they want to stop and see what these beautiful homes are all about and so also I want to have fish ponds from the top the property terraces down about 2500 feet or more about a half a mile the terraces we can have fish ponds and rivers and going all the way down the highway where we have a community restaurant on the highway 
and paddle boat lake. And if we just decide that we want all these things, we can just do it that way. Now, this property just happens to be perfect for all that because it already has a lot of water and a lot of water sources. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull water from a deep well, this crystal clear water, for our fish ponds and the paddle boat lake. And I'm trying to keep it really clean and bring in sand. And so during the summer, it could be like you're on the beach and there's little boats. So I want to make it like Disneyland to where the boats can go all the way to the top ponds or go all the way down to the highway ponds. Like at Disneyland, they go down and up chains. 